Hello folks. Hey, good morning. We are Dirt Road Couple. Season two gear reviews. Okay, so we've never done a gear review before. We have not, so. We've gotten feedback from a lot, so many people. You so see the, many people. Right, you see the comments below, right? So a lot of people have asked about what our refrigerator situation is. So, so in our life, PBB, otherwise known as pre-blizzard box, we oh, used yeah. a cooler. Yeah. And a cooler, it's great if you're just going out for the day, but if you're going out for multiple days, especially into some hot places, um, Utah in the summer, for example, you're gonna need something where your ice doesn't melt and you're just constantly having to run back and forth to the store to get ice. So then became post blizzard box season and now our life is amazing. It has need... totally changed our, what? Well, I was just gonna ask you if, we, if this is a must have. It's a must have if you're going out for multiple day trips. If you're going out for for one day and you're gonna come back at night, then fine. But if, if you're going out for multiple days, you absolutely need this. Otherwise, all of your, what did well, they do? all your stuff in the cooler is gonna end up melted in a big pile of mush. And you go to pull out your yogurt in the morning and it's floating in a big pile of water. And that's not, that's not great. She's almost yelling at me right there. So, are you a yell are you that I'm just telling are you that passionate about this fridge <laughs> that you're gonna yell at me about it? I love this fridge. That's why this is my first gear review because this is the best purchase we made aside from the truck and the tent. Uh, and me. Well I didn't purchase you. <laughs> I don't to my knowledge. There was no dowry. Well given. Was, no there was not. So well, anyway, um, no dowry. This, we got it at Costco for $499 at the time. It was on sale from $699. So it was a good deal. I like to get good deals. Um, it's a 41 quart. It's no longer available on the Costco oh, website. Really? Yeah, it's so not available. So where can we buy it? Well, it may come back to Costco. I, I don't, you all know how Costco works, who knows. Um, but right now you can buy it at Type S Auto it's $999 and I still, even at that price, I wasn't, wouldn't hesitate to buy it again. It's, it's a great piece of well, gear. Well, do you know why you can buy it at Type S Auto? Because they have it. Supply because, and demand. Because if you read why? the name of the thing, it's the Blizzard box powered by Type oh, S Auto. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we liked it because like she said, we bought it at Costco and their, your return policy oh, yeah, there your is return really policy good. So we didn't figure it was much of a risk to buy this one. Yeah, I figured if we took it out and we didn't like it after a year, we'd take it back. And there are a lot of other fridges but I'm like Dometic is like a name, like a. I don't like think you can return brand. those a year later. Right. I could probably throw this off the back of the truck and still return it to Costco three years later, and they would take it. Oh, Dometic didn't meet your Costco, satisfaction. Yeah, Costco's amazing. Yeah. Anyway, so if Dometic, if you want to send us a refrigerator to test and do one of these <laughs> We'd fantastic be happy to. gear reviews, we'll give it a spin. Um, but this has worked quite well. It's a 41 quart, by the way. It holds 54 cans of PBR. And if you put like 20 cans of PBR and then you can put like other stuff too, <laughs> hot dogs, hamburger, <laughs> you know, other stuff to actually eat. Exactly. Which or, is nice. Yeah. This is actually a really nice feature. You can open it from this side. Or this side. Or, wait for it, wait for it, or remove the whole thing. Oh, you take the whole lid off again. So, because if you do that, then there's these little baskets inside. You can, you could go to the grocery store. <laughs> get a little basket and then put it back in here. I guess, I don't really know why they're here, but it does, I don't oh, know. Well, Honestly, I don't know why they're there. There's a light in here too, so this thing lights up when you open So at night, when you need to reach in and you wanna make sure you get a PBR and not a carrot, you can see what you're getting. So AC power, you can plug it into the wall, which is what we do like before we leave, we'll power it up. We'll power it up with the wall plug to get it cold and everything. It really doesn't take very long, maybe five, 10 minutes to get the, get the temperature. We do keep, it's got a digital readout on the front. We'll do some B-roll and maybe insert it right here. I don't know. Can we do B-roll? I we can, I can B-roll. We'll try to do that. So do how do we power this? Um, put this little battery. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Jackery power station. Now we'll do another in-depth review on the Jackery. This, but just for comparison purposes, uh, so you know where we're coming from. This is a 500 watt. They now come in a thousand or 1500, but when we bought this 500 was basically it. Um, works really good. This will power it for probably a couple days, depending on the outdoor temperature, obviously. But the way we rig it up, just in uh, summary, is we plug the Jackery into our cigarette lighter so that when we're driving the truck, the truck is charging the battery as we're driving. And then we plug the refrigerator into the battery pack. So when we stop to do sightseeing, go for a hike or whatever, 
turn the truck off for a hike. <laughs> We're going to start doing more hiking <laughs> when, because we when we healthy. sit in our lawn chairs and we turn the truck off, it's charging. <laughs> and, well, it does that too, not only, but uh, in the event that we take a hike, which we should for our fitness level, I would agree. we should hike more. We should hike more. Um, I Maybe that'll was, come in season three. Yeah, I don't even know what I was talking about now. You got me off track. Anyways. So, yeah, so we really hope that you've liked our first gear review under Road Couple. Yeah, and if you like it, let us know in the comments below. Yes. Or if you have any questions, let yep. us know in the comments below. And, and we'll we do will. We'll, we'll, we'll answer them. We'll, yeah, answer. We'll, we'll answer your questions yeah. if you ask them. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and probably review this Jackery next because really, you can't have one without the other. Right. So. Yeah. It's it's not a must have. Like no you one know, is. Well, look. It is a must have. Well, what did the pioneers use? The and pioneers they died on the trail when all their food spoiled. Like the, didn't they salt it up good? I don't. I don't know what the pioneers did, but well, if they see, had the a blizzard box, they would have lived a lot longer and been a lot happier. Well, that's true. So <laughs> the Donner party might not have had to eat each other if they had a blizzard. Well, they were already cold. Huh? The Donner party. Uh, They're the people that went over to Donner Pass and called. Well, it wasn't the Donner Pass then. It was just a pass, and then they got stranded in the snow, and then they had to eat each other. <laughs> so you don't know about them? No. Yeah. So anyway, that's a lesson for another day. Wow, a third video <laughs> in the making. <laughs> The history of the Donner Pass tragedy. <laughs> All right, folks, we will uh, see you on down the road.